Hey everyone, I'm going to be doing kind of like a puppy, dolly inspired type of eye. When I think puppy eyes, I think kind of like large, slightly drooping eyes, pretty much like Britney Spears eyes. I think her eyes are just adorable. So we're kind of going for that. Opposite of the idea of a cat eye, where you know you're kind of like elongating the eye more and just making it look more fierce and it's very edgy. I am wearing circle lenses. I've already popped them in before putting on the makeup, but you can see a quick little before and after. They do enlarge the eyes a little bit. They just add an extra little something, but they're completely optional. Um, you don't have to wear them. I just think they're fun. I'm gonna get started with this professional primer. It helps minimize the appearance of pores. And this one is from Benefit. It has like a little bit of a tint of color to it. So I'm going to mostly put this around the cheek area and then the nose, wherever my pores are enlarged. And you really don't need a whole lot of it either. Dab that in. Now I'm going to apply this foundation from Oxygenetics. <laughs> I always have a hard time saying that. So I'm just dabbing that around wherever I want it. And I'm using the Sigma Round Top Kabuki Brush to apply that. Just wanting to even out the skin tone a little, get rid of any redness, and I just got foundation in my hair. Lovely. Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer, and just continue to cover any spots. I'm just going to apply a little bit more in the areas that might have some redness or darkness. I'm going to apply a little bit down right here, down the bridge of the nose, just to highlight that. And then you could take the brush and just dab it in. And then of course for the under eye circles, I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I just like this a little bit better for the under eye than the Dream Lumi. I'm just going to pat this in. You can kind of get right up in here too, just it brightens up the eyes. Then I'm just going to take my Milani face powder in light medium and just my Sigma Tapered face brush and I'm just going to lightly set everything. Then I'm going to take my other Milani face powder. This one is just like a couple shades darker in light tan and just do some really soft natural contouring with it and I can just use the same brush. If you think about it, it's kind of like a number three. Going down this way like that. I'm just going to pinch the brush and get some right on the tip and also just softly contour the nose. Get right up here. You could use like an eyeshadow brush to be more precise with this. And then for the brows, I'm going to be using this Vincent Longo Bi Brow Powder and just taking the angled brush and try to thicken them up a little bit because that looks more useful. So I'm just going to try to thicken it a little bit. Now to the actual eye makeup. I'm going to grab my Makeup Forever Eye Prime. This is a new product of theirs. I really actually really like this. I've been using it a lot. So I'm going to apply it underneath as well. This is optional, but I'm going to take this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze because I just think it works really well as an eye base. And it's just going to help create a little bit more depth on the eye. Just smooth that out all over the lid. I'm going to be using my Stila in the light palette. You could use whatever you have. Um, I just like that all the colors that I need are very conveniently in here. So I'm going to be mostly using these browns right here and a little bit of black. But first I'm going to go in with this shade using an e.l.f. blending brush. Apply this right in the socket. And then going in with a short shader brush, or like a smudge brush like this, I'm going to go into this deeper brown shade right here. Apply this all over the lid. Close to the lash line. And then just softly blend that upwards. So it's going to be pretty much like a gradient effect. You want it to be the darkest right by the lash line. 
I'm just going to take another blending brush and go into this medium brown shade right here. It looks dark, but it actually isn't that dark, and it has like a bit of gold shimmer to it, which is really, really pretty. So I kind of want a little bit of shimmer mostly on the inner portion right here, but I'm basically going to blend this right in between the two shades. So we had that medium brownish shade and then the darker shade. This shade is going to go right in between, and it's going to help blend everything together seamlessly. So this is just another like way to do sort of a gradient look. I think it's fun. It's really, really easy. 